It's week two of training, people. How are we feeling? A little sore? A little scared? Good. You should be. We are all runners. Well, at least in your imagination you are. But today, we're going to make real runners out of you. Let's go. Everybody on their feet. Come on, up, up, up. It's time to warm up with a little exercise I like to call the jumping cheetah. Grr! At the sound of the whistle, you will all do the jumping cheetah. Are you ready, CF kids? Let's go. Grr! 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 Come on, everybody. It's not a jumping or leaping lizard. It's a jumping cheetah. Come on. Now ground with me to the left. Grr! Ground with me to the right. Grr! One more time. Grr! One more time. Grr! One more time. Grr! And... That's it. No more jumping cheetahs for me. And besides, what's with all these animal-inspired exercises? I don't know. Well, I give up. What? Yeah. Michael, I we have up. the Stop for Llamas 5K coming up. You can't give up. Yes, I can. Coach Rob is taking this thing way too serious. Besides, the fake race. No, no, no. I'm gonna lay down here and rest my eyeballs for a sec. Woohoo! These jumping cheetahs are gonna get me in running shape in no time. Michael, come on, come try them. Come yeah. on, get motivated. Come on, Michael. I'm good. Rawr. Thank you. Michael, you heard Coach Rob. Don't you think it would be wise to listen to him? Plus, if you don't train, you're not gonna be able to finish this super important race. Llamas everywhere are counting on us. Ha <laughs> ha! Woo, that was a good one, Gabby. I think you're exaggerating. Besides, it's almost lunchtime, and I need to figure out what am I going to eat for lunch. I got it. See you, kids. Maybe you can help me decide what to eat with this game. I'm gonna get it, Gabby. I'm gonna get the super sized triple decker cheeseburger with crispy bacon, extra cheese, hold the pickles, oh, extra mayonnaise, and. Michael. What? Don't you think that's a little bit excessive? 
No. You took it too far. Uh, yeah, yeah, you took it too far. Plus, up next on our training guide, it says that agility drills are up. And Coach Rob says that if we overeat, we won't be able to train as hard. Agility, as humility. Do we really need to listen to every little thing that Coach Rob says? You know what that means. No idea. Gabby, Michael, see if kids, it's time for a fitness test. Time to assess how well you are doing with your training and see if you are getting into 5K running shape. What? I didn't know we were gonna get tested. What is this? Let's start off with some jumping unicorns. Begin. Yeah, yeah. Come on, Michael. I can't do this. Yeah, yeah you can. Come on. No, I'll, I'll do this instead. That's embarrassing. Great job. Well, some of you, that is. Up next, let's do some high knees. Ready? Begin. What are these things? Oh, snap. What a mess. Oh, yeah. Woo. And stop. Okay, everybody. You can sit down now. Everybody take a seat, grab a chair, do what you gotta do. What's going on here, Michael? Did you miss out on training? You've got to get ready for the 5K run. Maybe you should take a breather and I'll work with the CF Kids on their memory muscle. CF Kids, it's time for memory verse drills. I'll say parts of the verse and then all of you will have to repeat after me. Ready? <whistles> training the body has some value. I can't hear you. Let's try that again. Training the body has some value. Better. Now, the next part. But being godly has value in every way. Good job, CF Kids. Now you've got it. Here's the last part. Try to say it as fast as you can. It promises help for the life you are now living and the life to come. First Timothy 4. Whoa, that's what I'm talking about. That's a mouthful, isn't it? All right, let's try the whole thing all together. <whistles> Training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. It promises help for the life you are now living and the life to come. 1 Timothy 4.8. All right, see you kids. Great job on your fitness test and memory drills. Gabby and Michael, one of you needs <clears throat> a little work, and I expect to see some improvements next time. What was I thinking? That was horrible. I know better than to skip a training. Oh man, I gotta pay attention to the instruction and wisdom of Coach Rob. And I gotta stay on top of those jumping cheetahs. Those things are intense. Actually, that reminds me of a Bible story of the wise and foolish builders. See you kids, join me as we check it out together. This is Jesus. hey -o. Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like walking on water. Oh, hey guys. And even raised people from the dead. One day, as he saw the crowds gathering, Jesus went up to the mountainside and sat down. His disciples gathered around him, and he began to teach them. He asked them, Why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you don't do what I say? Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows it is wise. Hey, I'm gonna build here. Yeah, I'm gonna build out there. All right, suit yourself. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Oh, yeah. When the floodwaters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it was well built. I'll get it here. But anyone who hears my teaching and doesn't obey it is foolish. All right, hey, it's nice. Like a person who builds a house on sand. Uh-oh, 
When the rains and floods come and the winds beat against that house, it will collapse with a mighty crash. When Jesus had finished saying these things, the crowds were amazed at his teaching. Wow, I definitely do not want to be like that guy that built his house on the sand. Well, then we must practice hearing from God. Well, you're right. And if we learn to hear from God and obey Him, we will be wise, just like the man in the story that built his house on the rock. But if we hear from God and still choose to disobey, then we're just as foolish as the man who built his house on the sand. And you know what? The same goes for our 5K race. If we hear the instructions from run coach Rob, but don't obey them, we will never finish the race. So it's going to take some discipline. You're right, Gabby. And in the same way, hearing from God is a discipline that we must train to develop. It comes from reading His Word and listening to the godly role models that are in our lives. But being disciplined takes a lot of hard work and commitment. So we can often feel like not doing any of it. That is so true, which is what happened to me earlier, Yikes. if you guys remember. Even though I heard what Coach Rob was saying, I didn't want to listen, but now I know better. And now I commit to doing better. <laughs> well, that is something to celebrate. Let's worship God for what He has reminded of us today. There's no way you won't go. Nothing you won't do No place that I could hide You're always in pursuit I'm never too far gone Always in your side When I wait for you You're always right on time You're always pursuing You made a way for me Opened up the door Jesus, you have my heart Now and forevermore You're always pursuing
so I give my life I'm giving you all of me Welcome to some good announcements. This month we have a family mission all about loving on our teachers. But before I give away too much information, let's go to Stephanie for the inside scoop. Stephanie, take it away. Hello everyone, my name is Stephanie and I'm bringing you the family mission for the month of May. See if kids love teachers. Show some love for your teachers and all the hard work they do. I've given them a thank you card and serve them all month long. You can download your card at zfmiami.org slash parents. Get creative and show your teachers some love. Thank you, Stephanie. In other news for this series, we have a really fun challenge card, but it's not really a challenge card at all. It's more like a challenge medal. Boom! If you complete six out of the seven challenges, you will win an exclusive 5K mystery pack. This prize pack contains a water bottle, llama socks, a delicious granola bar, and so much more. You are definitely gonna wanna turn in those challenge medals. Lastly, here at our SGA desk, we wanna wish all our moms out there a happy Mother's Day. Kids, show some love to your moms, grandmothers, or any super special lady in your life by downloading our Mother's Day card at cfmiami.org slash parents. That's all for SGA, some good announcements. I know those jumping cheetahs got the best of some of you today, but that's okay. You did it, and now you've earned yourself a cool down. And as we do, let's review together. Today's bottom line is practice hearing from God. It takes commitment to hear from God and grow in faith. We have to practice reading the Bible and listening to people who teach us about God. Then when we hear from God, we must make a commitment to do what He says. Just like Michael, finally decided to listen to my running tips and commit to his training. <sighs> Something that makes hearing from God easier includes memorizing God's Word. This month's memory verse is found in 1 Timothy 4.8. Training the body has some value, but being godly has value in every way. It promises help for the life you are now living and the life to come. Great job, team! Now don't forget to fill out those challenge medals for a fun 5K mystery prize. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, we all right. got this. We will be ready for the Stop for Llamas 5K run in no time. <laughs> well, we continue to listen to the wisdom of Coach Rob. I think we can complete the 5K. I think so too. By the way, have you ever thought what it would be like to run with llamas? What? What are you talking about? Yeah, in the Stop for Llamas 5K race, there will be llamas, right? Well, I don't know if there's going to be any llamas in the Stop for Llamas 5K. Hey, but well, maybe we can talk about it later. Uh, why don't we close our time in first? Sounds good. Let's do it. God, thank you so much for this time today. Thank you for allowing us to get together wherever we are and wherever our CF kids are watching. God bless each and every single family that is watching us. And God, we're thankful that you call us to practice, to listen to you, God. Help us this week to practice just that. Practice to listen to you, Father. Be with us in our everyday, God. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Bye, Bye CF kids. kids.